good morning guys. Well, Memorial Day is upon us and it's time to get a little bit done in the yard. So just some quick tips for this weekend and things that you really want to make sure that you either pay attention to or that you take care of. First of all, it's time to put down your step two. So it's Memorial Day weekend. And the thing with step two, you want to make sure that your lawn is nice and wet. So either do it in the morning with the dew or after the rain and then make sure it doesn't rain for about 24 hours after. And that'll help take care of light weeds within the lawn. If you've got a more significant issue, there's Weed Beater Ultra. So it's a great weed killer that will basically kill the weeds, but not, uh, not your lawn. If you've got a small problem where you just want to use a little touch up here and there, the RTU is great. If you've got something that's more significant, you want to make sure that you're getting a concentrate and putting that in a hose end sprayer. And it's going to take multiple applications of that. So you want to make sure that you're putting that down now and then seven to 10 days from now and seven to 10 days from then. And that'll, after two or three applications, even the most stubborn weeds like clover, your ground ivies, that stuff, you'll see that stuff start to succumb uh, to the weed killer. Also, it's time to put down your grub X. So you want to make sure that you put that down with your step two pretty much every year. That'll prevent any, any grub problems from happening uh, year over year. So it takes care of the 12 month cycle. So if you put that down, you know that you're safe and you know that you're covered. Um, it's something that, you know, if you don't do it, it's, you're, you're taking a chance. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that. Also, it's time to take a look at, you know, a lot of insects are becoming active right now. So this is a three in one insect disease and mite killer. So it's awesome for roses. So as you put this down, use it on your roses, use it on anything, especially Alberta spruce. Um, you know, things that you know that are uh, really pro uh, prevalent and prone to get mites or other insect issues. Now's the time you want to start paying attention to that and keep a close eye out for it. It's so much easier to deal with those issues if you catch them early and you're paying attention. You know, once it's widespread and, you know, the leaves are all, you know, pretty much compromised, it's a lot more difficult to, to bring it back. At that point, you're just, you know, doing damage control. So another great alternative to, for an insect problem is also Captain Jack's. It's a great organic insecticide. So there's not a lot of um, really good effective ones. Captain Jack's is very effective. So if you've got organics, especially if you're using that inside the vegetable garden, it's a wonderful way uh, to, to treat insect issues in there, especially on your cold crops. So a lot of times cabbage, broccoli, bro uh, Brussels sprouts, you know, get aphid problems, get different insect problems. It's a great way to deal with those issues. So around the home also, you know, a lot of the crawling insects are becoming active now. So it's a little bit late in the season, but you're starting to see them get around your ants, um, a lot of other things. So take the ortho home defense and then just sprinkle that about, you know, a foot or two um, in diameter around the circumference of your home. So it just creates a nice boundary, a nice shield around the circum uh, circumference of your home. And then also there's a liquid form. So any thresholds that you have by your garage doors, by your patio doors, by your front doors, side doors, make sure that you're treating around the ground and that'll stay up for about 12 months uh, with that home defense. So it's a great product. It's a great way to help protect um, the plants. And then, you know, there's a lot of cleanup that you have to do right now. Scott's has come out with a great outdoor cleaner that basically just, you know, use it, it works great on siding. It's great on patio fabric. So if you've got patio cushions that need a little sprucing, it's a great way to do that. So it's a wonderful way to clean that. And then finally, there's still remnants of the season being this late. So you're starting to see your bulbs. Um, they're up and you're starting to see them fade right now. So this one, it's a little too early. So this was a hyacinth and you can see how healthy it is. But as this, you know, the nutrients basically go back inside of the bulb. And so as this begins to wither, the foliage will begin to yellow. And as that yellows, it'll start to get floppy. You know, as you start to feel that, that foliage softening up, you can actually take the hyacinth, bunch it together, bend it over and use a rubber band to tie it together. And at least that helps keep it nice and clean in your yard. Uh, where it's not just, you know, visibly just kind of messy and dirty around there. So just a few quick tips for the weekend. Have a wonderful and safe Memorial Day weekend. Thanks, guys.